this is the Chronicles of Jacqueline, and um, I'm doing this uh, recording because I wanted to keep track of all the prayers that I have. Um, largely speaking, I wanted to also give um, some kind of an awareness uh, regarding the two things that's happening today. Um, one thing is the um, the rise of African American Israelites. So uh, whether you believe it or not, there are some archaeological findings that's going to point out to the fact that many of the African people, certain tribes, it's not saying all of Africa, but certain tribes had the Jewish line. And um, some of their genetic marker is actually pointing to the Kohenim, meaning the priestly. So the African Americans that are in the United States, many of them that are claiming to be Israelites is because of the fact that they identify with many of the things stated in the Bible, especially Deuteronomy 28. Now, the interesting thing with that is that um, these are people who are claiming that, um, look, we've done everything to please men and follow their will, and it's about time that we do what the Lord God wanted us to do. Now, it is very much a fact that if you look at the Jewish people all over the Europe, um, there is a diaspora that came from Israel and they got pushed away and they all lived in different countries. Now Abraham is the father of many nations and so it is very much a fact that many of the Jewish people moved to different parts of the world uh, including China, including India and why not Africa because where um, Israel is it is right below that it's Egypt is already Africa so technically speaking Israel is within that continent of Africa. Now, interestingly, the Middle East is largely where um, uh, Ar 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 Arabian people are. And within the Jewish context, they claim that the Edomites are the Arabs. However, we, the African-American group that is identifying themselves as Israelites, they're saying that the Jewish people in Israel is fake and this I don't believe because these people <laughs> died because of the book that they carried uh, all over Europe and in Germany um, the Germans I know number one the, the Germans accepted a lot of Jewish people regardless of their fate and they lived harmoniously with them they had good business and whatever now something took turn because um, economically Germany wasn't doing well and there's the rise of Hitler. Now, many people do not understand the number one reason why a lot of Jewish people, six million of them, have died is because people believed in the theory of evolution. Uh, when you believe the theory of evolution, what you then say is that the Bible is not real. This, it talks about the Genesis. So the Genesis is not real. Uh, the New Testament, is, it's bogus, okay? The Old Testament, that's also bogus because you're saying that uh, it took millions and billions of years before man came on earth and we happen to be random. Well, nothing is random. If you look at this room alone, if you look at my face alone, for my hair to look the way they do, I have to comb it a certain way. I have to put makeup on a certain way. Otherwise, you're going to look at me and it's going to look funny, like I just woke up in the morning. So nothing is really random. So the theory of evolution is being disputed by the very people who studied them and the molecular biologists, evolutionary biologists are claiming that this is not even making sense. What they know now with microbiology is not going in line with what um, the theory of evolution says. So six million people of Jews died in Germany. So the rest of them that survived, that's the reason why they put them in Israel. They couldn't be absorbed anywhere else. Why wouldn't uh, these, I mean, right now a lot of these um, Muslim people are wanting to move all over Europe and the United States. How come they're not moving to Africa? How come they're not moving to South America? Okay, how come they're not moving to the Middle America? It is because they deem that the place to be is in America and in um, European nations. However, if you look at it, okay, these Jewish people in Germany, wouldn't they have rather want to go to the United States? 
but the United States closed their doors on these Jewish people. Thereby, the only place that they could go is Israel. They finally said, okay, well, this is a desolate place. Uh, you know, if they claim that they're Jewish, put them back there because that's where the biblical, that is where Jerusalem is. Everybody knows that. Even when they had changed it in the Valfour Declaration and they called it Palestine. I mean, that is just a name they gave it. Okay, but technically speaking, these people that are in Israel, they are not Palestinians. A lot of them are different um, groups of Arabs that have stayed and migrated into that area. In fact, it was also the Jewish people when they started coming in, they needed to rebuild it and there were different European nations um, involved in that and many of the people volunteered, these Christians volunteered to take part of the agriculture and so they built sort of a communistic style living. But it's interesting because if you really look at it, it is communism, it is the belief not in the Bible, but rather a belief in a theory of evolution where people came from apes. That's the reason why Hitler had this audacity to kill a lot of people. And it's not just Jewish people. Hitler killed a lot of people who are disabled. He killed a lot of people who were elderly. He killed a lot of people, even Germans, that looked ugly. Okay. He also killed a lot of people who are um, of a different color. So if they were too dark, they got killed. If they were um, destitute, they got killed. If they were beggars on the street, they got killed. And they were doing genetic cleansing. So you'd have to look good in order to stay alive. You have to look, take part of this phrenology, which is the, the phrenology is a study of the head, and this is like the most evolved head. Okay, So we all know that that's bogus because um, you know you will see people that have this ability that can actually have a higher IQ. Okay, it's not very common, but there are certain types of um, uh, cerebral palsy where these kids can actually have above normal uh, intelligence. So, um, the ataxic uh, cerebral palsy, for example, if you look at um, um, with the advent of technology, we can prove that certain people that may have disability can actually be much more capable than some people with both arms and legs. I mean, you'd see also people who have deformities that have done great amount of things in this world. This is the reason why communism is not good. But why, I, I do not understand why many in Israel does not preach against communism. Um, and I think it's because they started out a little bit communistic also to gather up their own people. And uh, it, it is sort of a spiritual blindness that didn't let people realize that the biggest culprit in this world is communism, the belief that people came from apes, and also mysticism, which is the belief that um, you, you don't need the Bible, you just need to study everything outside of it, and you're going to be perfectly great. Okay, um, now we can stop people from believing what they wanted to believe, but I want everybody to take a look at this book called Treasures of Darkness, and this will unlock to you many things that you need to understand about Hasidic Jews and ultra-Orthodox, and um, read this one. For I say to you, from now on, you shall not see me until you say, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. So who comes in the name of the Lord? Uh, is it the Buddhist people? Who comes in the name of the Lord? Yeshua, right? Yod, hey, Bob, hey, behold the hand, behold the nail. Um, I've done extensive study. I'm going to do a lot of, um, a lot more uh, of these prayers um, directly towards the Hasidic Jews and the ultra-Orthodox. And, this is, I'm doing this out of love because I feel as though we, we cannot blame them. When people have spiritual blindness, even if they are atheistic, you cannot um, push it upon them because you can try as you might until the Lord lifts away this veil. They're going to keep uh, stumbling. And so they're reaching for God. And the only way that they could reach for God is to... Um, is to follow certain charismatic people. And it turns out that a lot of the rabbis that they are following <laughs> doesn't really know the truth, or they think they know the truth and they're grasping for it. But unless the Holy Spirit removes the veil upon their uh, the scales upon their eyes, they can study all they want 
with the Torah and everything, but they're not going to be able to see Yeshua. But there's a greater number of uh, rabbinical people who now believe Jesus Christ is the way. Uh, they may not be very vocal about it because in uh, Israel you shouldn't be preaching on the street. So um, also uh, there's a lot of attachment with Kabbalism. And um, this between the Kabbalism, Gnostic mysticism, uh, all kinds of pagantry that is in Israel, and also uh, the communism and um, humanism, all these isms is is basically the cobwebs. Um, and it will take time, and this is why I know that as I pray for the Jewish people and the African American people, it's gonna take me, it's gonna take time. But I know that the Lord is answering it one by one. So we need to pray for wisdom, because again, you gotta look at treasures of darkness and um, read some. Uh, information on uh, Hasidism okay now um, the one important thing that the Lord kind of put in my heart and why I should be praying for African-American people is that not only is there archaeological and genetic evidence that many African-American people do have a genetic bloodline with Judaism um, or that they are Jews not just Israelites is uh, is because you you got to realize the um, the Kabbalistic thinking and teaching is much more predominant uh, within the European within the European Jews. Uh, it is not prevalent. The teaching of Kabbalism it is not um, it is not being taught to a lot of African American people. So the African American people uh, are sort of separated from that teaching. Um, they can dwell into occultism. They can dwell into, uh, you know, I'm not saying actually African American doesn't dwell too much in this occultism. They may become more liberal and rebellious, just like in the Bible. It says that the Jewish people are rebellious. And um, if you look at it, a lot of the Jewish people in Hollywood and African American people are rebellious. So that much is true. But um, there are far more African American people that identifies with Jesus Christ. In fact, sometimes I think Jesus Christ is a dark-skinned person. Uh, I don't doubt that Jesus Christ can tan, but that is a personal experience of mine. I had an experience where I met Jesus Christ when I was a little girl. Uh, exactly why me? I mean, I wasn't worthy of anything. I was not a good kid. I was not at all of any um, perfection, so to speak. In fact, I had a lot of scabs. I had, you know, I... I uh, I was a very disturbed child, but granted, you know, I survived and, you know, I'm, I made success, you know, as a, you know, in my profession, the Lord always calls me to pray for his people. And so, um, we need to really hone in on this and understanding what capitalism is about, because it's just like, you need to know what cocaine does, because capitalism is a form of drug, um, a certain Gnosticism is a form of drug. If you add drugs with that, now you're really getting into sorcery. Even if you're not trying to practice sorcery, you're coming out of your body, you're having a trip, your, your chemistry is being played upon. Your body is the vessel of God. Our body is the temple of God. The shoe of our soul is our body. So wherever this body goes, okay, that's where my soul eventually goes. So... If in my walk in this lifetime is walking with the enemy and not walking with God, I am going to go with the enemy in the end. But if I walk with God, then I go with God. And that is only going to happen by reading the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and having the conviction that you have a sin and you need to repent from it. So um, any churches these days that is not talking about repentance, it is not saying the truth. So um, thank you and uh, much blessing. And Treasures of Darkness, definitely read it. God bless.